This video is about how you can adjust the double angle formulae. So um, you'll have seen these three formulae from the previous video um, and we're going to adjust these formulae. So the key thing here is noticing that this, the inside of the cos function there is 2x, the inside of the cos function there is x. And as long as you keep these in proportion, you can adjust this formula. So for example, I could, if I wanted to, double both of these. So cos 4x would be equivalent to cos uh, 2 cos squared 2x minus 1. So just doubling the 2x to give 4x, just doubling the x to give 2x, this is still true. Similarly, I could times both of those by 3. So I get cos 6x, which would be equal to 2 cos squared x, uh, 3x times 1, and uh, minus 1. So I've just times that by 3, I've just times that by 3. I could decide to times both of them by 5. I could say cos 10x, so times in this by 5, would be equal to 2 cos squared 5x minus 1, so times in this by 5. Um, and we could actually decide to half both of them. So I could say cos x, so halving the 2x to get x, is equal to 2 cos squared, halving the x would give x over 2, minus 1. So we could half both of these as well. Like I say, as long as we keep them in proportion, you can apply this uh, rule to all sorts of other angles. Um, works for the uh, sine version of the cos formula as well. So we could say that cos, uh, we could say that cos, let's say cos 8x, so times in this by 4, that would be the same as two, uh, 1 minus 2 sine squared 4x times this by 4 times this by 4. We could, again, we could half. We could say cos x is 1 minus 2 sine squared x over 2. So again, we can adjust this by, uh, keep, as long as we keep these in proportion. Could do exactly the same thing with the sine double angle formula. I could say sine 10x is equal to 2 sine 5x cos 5x. So times in this by 5, times in this by 5, and this by 5. So it would work for the sine double angle as well. So onto a question that a few of you had some problems with. We had to use the double angle formula to show that this was true. So if we start with the cos double angle formula, so cos 2x is equal to 2 cos squared x minus 1. And as long as we keep these in proportion, we can adjust this. So I'm going to rewrite this as cos x is equal to 2 cos squared x over 2 minus 1. So half this, half this. I am now going to make the cos squared x over 2 the subject. So I'll first add 1 to the other side. Like that. And then I can divide both sides by 2. So I'll get cos x plus 1 all over 2 is equal to cos squared x over 2. And there we go. We've shown they are equivalent using the double angle formula. So I've called this bit the, the worksheet uh, the double uh, the half angle formula because it includes half angles. But really it should actually be about keeping these um, in proportion. As long as this is twice that, as long as this is twice that, as long as this is twice both of those, then we can come up with all sorts of different versions of the double angle formulae.